guys, Corker here and welcome back to a brand new episode of Question of the Week. In this episode, we'll be answering the question, was Velociraptor correctly portrayed in Jurassic Park? Following on from the question, was Dilophosaurus correctly portrayed in Jurassic Park? Hopefully you guys en enjoy this video. Make sure to consider subscribing to the channel for more dinosaur based content just like this. Let's get into the video. Velociraptor, in short, was not portrayed correctly in Jurassic Park, but let me show you why. Velociraptor is one of, is one of a large raptor family. Velociraptor has not been proven to have feathers, but in Jurassic Park 1 and 2 didn't host feathers, but then again in 3 it did. In Jurassic World though, these feathers disappeared. Because it hasn't been proven to have feathers or not, the film producers decided to portray it having feathers in Jurassic Park 3 for excitement, as the film was based around the raptors. There have been various types of creatures which have been proven to have feathers, but none of which are within the raptor family, at least none of which being closely related to Velociraptor anyway. These creatures have been proven to have feathers due to them actually being fossilised, which is very rare. These, uh, these discoveries are very astonishing. Velociraptor in Jurassic Park has some questions posed around its, stat its stature, but definitely its size isn't correct. The Velociraptor in Jurassic Park was given the size and stature of a Deinonychus, a large relative of Velociraptor. Deinonychus' full name is Deinonychus antihopus and is, the, is one of the best known of the Dro Dromaeosaurid species. The actual size of a Velociraptor, not the over-exaggerated film stature, is 3 feet tall and 6 feet long, over half its length being it for its tail. This is for its swiftness and agility as a predator. It was suspected to weigh around 20 to 30 pounds, most of that weight being pure muscle, Due to these facts, the kid in Jurassic Park 1 was technically right in saying it looks like a six-foot turkey when talking about the Velociraptor, except it was just half that size. The final point that makes Velociraptor wrongly portrayed in Jurassic Park is its disemboweling, meaning it would slice into prey and spill their guts, eventually killing them. Velociraptor's disemboweling technique was proven to be untrue when a team of biologists and paleontologists biomimicked muscle attachment on modern creatures and replicated a, and, rep, and, and recreated a replica biomechanical velociraptor arm, equipped with the su suspected accurate amount of strength as a velociraptor would have had, based on the quantity of muscle. They put the arm, along with a 3D printed metal replica claw of velociraptor, to a rack of pig flesh, which was suspected to be the equal strength of an average prehistoric creature's flesh, to discover that it could not disembowel its prey. It instead used its claw to dig into the jugular vein or windpipe of, it, of its velociraptor's prey, killing it. The theor this theory was proven true on, discover on discovery of a fossil a Velociraptor in the process of killing a Protoceratops through this method. They were locked in battle and still are to this day. To answer the main question, no Velociraptor was not correctly portrayed in Jurassic Park, but only through discoveries such as this one that I mentioned can con we conclude such theories. So be sure to keep on making dinosaur discoveries. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Leave any comments, questions and suggestions also down below. Check out all the links in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for news and updates around the channel, paleontology and geology. Make sure to come back next week to check out the next question of the week. And until then, my name has been Corkett and goodbye.